Some of these refugees have been living in South Africa for two decades, but now they say they no longer feel safe. Most are from the Democratic Republic of Congo, where they escaped war. But increasingly, they said they've had their small businesses looted, homes robbed, and have been personally attacked amid growing waves of xenophobia. We ran away from our country, running from tribulations. We came here in South Africa. We found more trouble, more tribulations, because xenophobic attack is real. South Africa is home to more than 250,000 asylum seekers. This group says they've moved from community to community, but violence eventually follows. They're now asking the United Nations Refugee Agency to move them to a safe third country. Any place that they can take us, that way we can be safe with our families. We can live and move on with our lives so that our children can go to school. Xenophobic violence has become increasingly pronounced in South Africa with bursts of riots and murder since 2008. Earlier this year, amid a wave of anti-migrant marches, a Zimbabwean man was killed in a Johannesburg township, authorities say, because of his nationality. Experts blame the problem on the country's history of violence, socioeconomic issues, and growing anti-foreigner politics. Normally when there's, you know, with xenophobic violence is that um, when it happens, there's no differentiation of like, are you refugee, are you uh, asylum seeker, are you, you know, it, it normally affects people who are there. You know, if government is not seen as doing anything, it also discourages um, migrants and refugees who are in the country because it's like, is it safe for me? Resettlement is not an option for most refugees. The UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, says only 1% of refugees globally are moved from one host country to another for exceptional circumstances. It's really only the most vulnerable refugees who are eligible for resettlement. So that can be um, survivors of sexual or gender-based violence. It can be women and children at risk, uh, people at risk because of their religious persecution. We really urge those refugees to take up the offer of local integration or repatriation because no one wants to see people living out on the street. But these refugees maintain reintegration is not an option and say they will stay camped here until there's a plan for them to leave South Africa. Linda Giftash for VOA News, Pretoria.